Today I want to talk about a uh, way to kind of bring your um, water meter into the smart home. I'm Blake, professional innovator and designer in pursuit of the invisible smart home. Water leak alert. <laughs> It started out as just a camera so I could see if the Bulldog, my water shutoff system, had shut off the water or opened the water. You just feel better when you can actually see it, especially in an emergency situation when you have a leak. It's nice to look at the camera and say, yeah, okay, it actually shut off the water. So I just put a camera down there to look at it, but then it ended up in a project where I said, well, the water meter's close by. Let's just see if I can get the water meter in the picture as well. And then it kind of went from there, and I'll show you what I ended up with. There are a number of different devices on the market that you can already uh, use to take, you know, measure water flow in your home. This is a device from Flume that just straps over your water meter and gives you feedback on how much water you use. And it can be used for leak detection as well. Um, we've also tested products from uh, BlueBot and Stream Labs that, you know, clamp onto the plumbing pipe and use uh, ultrasonic uh, sensors to tell how much water flow. And that's similar in that it can give you the water flow but also be used for uh, uh, leak alerts as well. Um, of course, that type of leak alert and this type of leak alert can miss alerts just as the puck style leak alerts can uh, miss uh, leak alerts. This is the uh, BlueBot non-intrusive flow device and beside it there to the right is the uh, the Moen intrusive device and what I mean by intrusive is uh, you have to cut the pipes and do some plumbing work. Uh, we prefer the uh, not intrusive solutions for flow because it kind of pairs well with the Bulldog because it's non intrusive. Alright so there's the Bulldog valve that can uh, you know set off the water in the case of the leak and I originally started with uh, the idea of just setting up a camera so I could see if it was uh, open or closed. So I could just set up a camera close by, mount it to the wall, and with the infrared and light it would be enough to tell if it was open or closed. But then I said, well, the water meter is here. There's the water meter. This is the camera I'm going to be talking about in a minute. Um, the water meter is here. Why not get that into the picture? So I just zoomed out from up high, and I was just enough to be able to see both the... Uh, the water meter and the valve so it was nice I could log in and look at the camera and see if there was water running and you can see let's just see here the next time the water runs and I'll just run a bit of water here with this hose that goes into there so you can see when the water runs the um, red triangle spins and it goes faster of course if you run more water and so I could just log in and go, okay, it's shut off the water, but that thing's still spinning, you know, something's not right. Still, it was kind of a good indication if I was away, if that was spinning at all, I uh, you know, originally thought, okay, I can just assume there's a problem. But that's not the case, of course, because I have a humidifier on the furnace and it takes a little bit of water to do that. Then occasionally, of course, the, uh, the fridge is filling up the ice maker as well. That's another source of water that would be uh, not necessarily random, but... Uh, you know, it wouldn't indicate a leak if you weren't home. So it doesn't really give you everything you want, but it's still a nice to be able to see the meter and the valve at the same time. So first it was just a camera and there were several different cameras. I thought I would zoom in on the meter and see if I could get uh, motion alerts when that little red triangle spins around. So I wasn't able to get that to work. So I added a magnifying glass in there to kind of zoom in a bit. This is, I forget what the magnification is on this, but it was high and it didn't work wasn't close enough. And then I was looking for a macro lens and I bought one of these relatively inexpensive um, kits to add telephoto lenses to your smartphone. And in there, there was a macro lens that I, uh, I'll show you in a minute that was strapped on to the end of the, uh, the Tapple type uh, camera. And that did work. So I managed to zoom in and now I get alerts when the little red triangle uh, spins around. And I've just kind of taped it on the top there to do a quick test. But that kind of put it in focus and zoomed in enough so that it would uh, trigger a motion. So that was kind of cool. So now I was getting motion alerts every time the water ran. So that's not ideal yet, but it's still kind of a step in the right direction. 
All right, this is what it looks like live in the app. You can see that it's dark in there. It's got the infrared lights on, and I can tell now that the water isn't running because the little red, which doesn't look red now, it's not spinning. But you can also go to history or playback, and you can see, I'm going to get it to play the most recent one here, It's and it runs the whole time the so it starts a few seconds before the motion and it runs the whole time the uh, the motion is running so you get an idea so you know when it starts you know when it ends so you, of course you know how long it was running and it's kind of interesting you can get a history here so let's just look at the history here the day so somebody was up to use the uh, the bathroom at 151 and somebody was up at 532 somebody was up early that wasn't me and then you can see every time the water is used so you can kind of get a feel for what an average uh, water usage timing is and day so that's kind of cool so I think you know I'm still working on it but at this point I can set this up when I'm away to get uh, um, alerts every time the water runs and if something is unusual um, then I, I know and I can know there's a problem. Um, it's not really, doesn't really get me where I want and I'm working on that so I think uh, and maybe I'll have another video that shows how I kind of got more information out of that and I could tell the difference between a leak and uh, just normal water flow. So in conclusion with a simple $25 camera and a $20 uh, lens kit you can uh, focus that on your water meter and get alerts when the water is running. I'm not sure how much value that adds. Uh, you know, it's missing some things, um, but I'm going to figure out those missing things and see if I can uh, add that value so I can tell the difference uh, between different uh, water flows. Give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe and look for my next video. Cheers.